Greetings, fellow pilgrims. Today our topic is etiquette on the Camino. Come and join us. Now, some of you may be saying, what's the big deal? Just be polite. Well, that's a good start. But believe it or not, there are specific ways to be polite on the Camino. And we're going to talk about them. Some of these things are, you know, no brainers. But other stuff is, geez, I didn't think about that. As always, this topic is huge and open-ended. If you can think of things that I miss please leave comments at the end for others. They are greatly appreciated. The first rule of etiquette is greeting pilgrims with the familiar Buen Camino. Not only is it polite, but it acknowledges that you are a fellow pilgrim and recognize the same in them. On the Camino, we're all equal. We're all pilgrims. When we're walking on the trail and you come upon someone coming up from behind, let them know you're there with the greeting and possibly something like, on your right or on your left, don't just scare the bejesus out of them by coming up behind unannounced. Pay attention to their demeanor. Are they in a meditative state? Do they want you to just pass and let them be? Or do they seem open for a brief conversation? Often a kind word or two in passing is just the spark that's needed at that moment. Here's another point of etiquette. We all like to stop at times along the Camino at a bar and get a cafe con leche or a Coca-Cola Zero. Also, it's nice to get your boots off, take off your socks, air everything out because it gets pretty stinky down there. But please, if you have foot odor problems, don't do it inside the crowded restaurant. Don't even do it out on the terrace if it's crowded. No one wants to smell your stinky feet. Go get your beverage of choice and a snack and then go find some place away from the others to air out and clean your feet. When you once again are presentable, then and only then come back and join the others. Another thing about feet and boots. If your boots are muddy, don't walk into the bar to order your refreshment and track mud and yuck on the clean restaurant floor. Stand at the doorway and point down to your muddy boots and ask if they can please bring to you your order out on the terrace. Not only will they be most happy to serve you outside, they will be appreciative of your consideration. On to the next point of Camino etiquette. If you stop on the trail, move over. There's times when you need to stop, perhaps to check your phone and GPS, or maybe you need to get something out of your backpack or put something into your backpack. Maybe you just need to stop and drink some water and a granola bar or a chocolate bar. Move off the trail. Don't just stand there in the middle of the trail and make others walk around you, especially if you're a large group. Keep the trail open so others don't have to maneuver around you and all your stuff. Also, be sure and greet the others as they pass. When someone, either a solo walker or a couple, need to pass you, move over and allow them to pass, and then wait about 20 to 30 seconds before you continue. This is a polite way to allow them and yourself time to regain a comfortable personal space. Obviously, if the trail is very crowded, you can't do this, but if you can, it's a nice gesture. This is a no-brainer, but I'd like to explain why. Don't toss your trash on the trail or even off the trail, even if it's biodegradable, even if it's just a banana peel or an apple core. 
Yes, it will decompose eventually, but that could take a couple of years. Also, it's not good for the wild animals to eat non-native foods. Don't feed the wildlife. Many animals stay hidden and others are not so shy. Giving these creatures food only disrupts their natural foraging habits. Bottom line, if you brought it in, take it out. If you have to relieve yourself, please go a discreet distance off the trail. Also, make sure you are at least 200 feet from any water source. Pick up anything you leave with your toilet paper and place it in a plastic bag. Take this with you and dispose of it properly at the next town or village. And another rule of etiquette. If you use something in public, tidy it up before you leave. For example, you're at a bar getting refreshments and you go use the facility. You wash your hands, your face, your arms, you get carried away at how good it feels. But You've splashed water everywhere. Please be a good pilgrim and clean it up. And while we're talking about bars along the Camino, if you need to use the facility, please purchase something, support their business. We have a symbiotic relationship with them. They are there for us and we are there for them. We pilgrims are vital to their continued business and our support is greatly appreciated. One last tip on Camino etiquette. Never forget that we are a guest in their country. Respect the customs and traditions. When you enter cathedrals, mosques, synagogues, be polite and quiet. If you can, leave a donation to support their efforts in maintaining the historical site. If you are allowed to take pictures, do so discreetly. Obviously, if a service is in progress, do not take pictures. Either join the service or quietly exit after you have taken a brief look. If you want to get your pilgrim passport stamped, look first for the stamp so you can do it yourself. If you don't see one, ask, but only if there is an attendant or another official person. Always be aware of your surroundings. Observe those around you, the locals, and take your cue from them and behave likewise. When you exit the museums, cathedrals, or historical sites, please stop and say thank you to the caretakers. They are making it possible for us to enjoy their piece of history. Each week I try to research new or old folk tunes and then arrange them for our horns. If you've been following along with our latest recordings, you've heard tunes originally written for Galician instruments such as the bagpipes, concertinas, and dulzanias. All of these tunes will now be familiar to you as you hear them being played on the bagpipes as you walk down the stairs into the tunnel and into Cathedral Square. The tune this week is called El Canto de las Gaitas, or The Song of the Bagpipes. It's traditionally performed by a whole band of bagpipes, but if you're lucky, as you walk into the cathedral square, you may hear it performed by two or perhaps three pipers. <laughs> 